hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we will learn how to change the extension of a file in power automate desktop so please watch this video till the end so that you can understand it completely and if you have not subscribed my youtube channel yet please subscribe it so let's get started in power automate desktop under the file section you will find an action which is named as rename files right and in this action you have to pass the file of which you want to rename and then in the rename scheme you have multiple options like set new name add text remove text and replace text and then you have change extension and after that you have add date time and make sequential and then if I choose the change extension then I will have to specify the extension and then another option is if file exists you can specify whether you want to overwrite or you don't want to do anything right Sometimes what happens is when you are working on a project the file which you will download from a system will be in a txt format right and then what you have to do is you have to open or convert that file into csv or xlsx or .xls right in that case what you have to do is you have to use a separator to convert the text into a column right for the same purpose I have created a file which is named as data this is located on the desktop and inside and on the desktop I have a folder which is named as automation and then I have this file which is named as data and here you can see that I have created a file which has some data like first name and then I have used the pipe symbol then last name and again I've used the pipe symbol and the country and here I have specified some name right so what I will do is I will click on close button to close that file and I will go back to the power automate desktop and here what I will do is I will click on this file select file action or what I will do is I will click on cancel then I will go to the folder category and I will use get special folder And here I have chosen the desktop I have chosen desktop because I want a direct path till the desktop because my automation folder is located on the desktop and the direct path of the desktop will be stored in the special folder path variable I will click on save and then what I will do is I will go to rename file and from here I will choose the special folder variable as we know that on the desktop I have a folder which is named as automation and inside that I have a file which is named as data dot txt that is the extension of that file and in the rename scheme what I will do is I will use the change extension and then I will specify the extension in which I want this file to be converted into I will type dot CSV and then the path of this file will be stored in the renamed files right I will click on save
and in the rename file action you also have a property which is on error so for example while renaming this file there is some error on this action you can specify some error handling methods for example if this action fails you can specify to retry this action multiple times let's say two times at the interval of three seconds and also you can come and here specify the new rule so for example if this error occurs you can specify this you can change this variable let's say error number and you can set some variable so initially this variable will hold zero but when this error occurs or this action fails then the value of this variable will be one and based on that you can check whether this action has failed or passed the next action that we will have is inside the rule which is as subflow so let's say if you want to log this error somewhere in the file you can use the respective subflow which will write this exception in that file you can click on clear all for the moment and then next is continue flow run so for example if you want to ignore this error so you can just say go to next action which means we don't uh, want to do anything if this action fails and if you want to repeat this action you can choose the repeat action or if you have created any label you can say go to specified label for now i did not create any label so i'll just leave it as it is and i will go to throw error and disable this action then i will go back to the return to parameters i will click on save so now what i will do is i will run the bot i will right click on this get a special folder and then i will click on run from here So bot is running it has generated an error I will open this path and it has given error because instead of backslash here it is pipe so I will just specify the backslash and then I will click on save that error is gone I will right click and then run the bot So now the file has been renamed if I look for renamed files which is having the path of that file here you can see that it is a list of files right and so this is the path of that file and here you will be able to see the properties of this file which has been renamed okay so which full name is having the full path of that file so now what I will do is I will go back to the folder and here you can see that this file has been renamed I will open this file and here you can see that the data is written in this format I will close it I will go back to the power automate desktop now instead of renaming what I will do is I will take the read from CSV because we have renamed that file into CSV and here I will specify this uh, special folder path which is having a direct path Till the desktop and then I will say that go to automation folder and inside that I have data.csv because we have us used separator as pipe so I will say that okay first line contains the 
column name in the column separator i will use custom and in the custom separator i will specify the pipe symbol and then i will click on save so now i am going to read that file which i have renamed i have changed the extension of that file i will right click on it i will run the bot and now if i go back and search for that variable which is having that data so here you can see that it is a data table and the columns are like first name last name and the country and the data which i had written in that file so this way you are able to convert a txt file into a csv file and then you are able to read that data using read from csv action and you have used the separator which has been used in that csv or .txt file right and once you have the data in the data table format you can perform the loop so what i will do is i will go back to the loops and i'll take the for each action and here i will specify the variable which is having that data table and here i have current item 4 which will have the current row right and then what i will do is i will go to message boxes and from here i will choose display message and then i will use current item 4 and as we know this is having the row of that file so i will specify the column name of which i want to you know i want to display so let's say first name i want to show and then i will also print the last name and i will also print the country so which is like this right now i will click on save i will right click on get a special folder path special folder action and then i will click on run from here now here you will be able to see the data of the current row and then the next row and then the last row and this execution is completed So now here you can see I have used the breakpoint, right? Let's see what happens uh, when I run this action. The execution has been completed. And now if I go back to the file explorer, here you see that nothing has changed because we don't have any data or any file there which is named as data.txt so which means if the file is not found it will not throw any error and the execution will be completed so if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any question please post it in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day